Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today what we're going to be doing is a little more truck maintenance. Uh, this time it's uh, it's about time for me to change the front brake pads on this uh, 2015 Ram 2500. So I'm going to be doing that with the, uh, the Duralast Gold here and then uh, I'm just going to walk you through the steps. Alright, so I got that done right there. All right, so I got the jack up underneath it and I went ahead and threw a jack stand under there for uh, just for good measure in case something decides to give. So I'm going to go ahead and finish uh, taking this wheel off here. Grab the 15 16 here. This is the size of this brake cal caliper bolt. All right, and then I went ahead and got a cheater pipe. I'm going to see if I can bust this loose. All right, so we got that one. Cheater pipe's really helpful, unless you got a lot more lead in your pencil than I do, and if you do, that's fine, all the power to you, but get you a nice little cheater pipe that you can have laying around. It does a world of help. All right, so there's the first bolt out. So now I'm just gonna loosen the bottom one and see if that works. All right, so not quite enough room. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this bottom bolt off. Um, but if there was just a little bit more give in this line, I could just pivot that on that bottom bolt. And that was recommended to me by another YouTube user. I'll put their name up uh, on my last video for the rear brake pads. All right, so there we go. Now we got this behemoth out, but we can go ahead and see here. I mean, if I'm looking at these older brake pads, it was time. Got about three mils left on this side. And about, like about five mils left on this one so they were starting to make noise so it's a good time to replace them all right so you saw me cut this down in the last video it's just what I'm using to so this bar stock right here is what I'm using to connect these two pistons right here because we have to push these pistons back in order to make room for the new um, brake pads. So when your brake pads wear, your pistons, they come out further and further and further and they compensate for the amount of brake pads that you've lost. All right, so I just cut this out. They make an expanding uh, expander tool. Um, it's just they don't usually work too well on these larger brake setups. So I usually stick to this right here. So this is just a C-clamp that I'm tightening. All right, so I just tighten this down now. That applies pressure on both of those pistons and it just uh, collapses that back into those, uh, those cups there. All right, so looking through the new box here, you can see there's that new set of clips. So you should have eight of these, four on each side. So it's four here. And then four back in the box for the other side. All right, 
right, so going through here. So normally when I go through these, I, I match them up with, uh, with my old pads that I pulled out, but these are identical on both sides. But if you're doing this on a different year, different make, different model, uh, just always try to match those up. If you have trouble remembering which one came from which side, just look on the back side and see where the pistons were riding. That'll tell you which one goes on the piston side and which one goes on the other side. All right, so we've got our new brake pad. Save that for the other side. Here's some instructions if you wanted to read through these. Basically just tells you, you know, what I'm telling you. Change your, your shims and your pieces here. All right, so let's look at how we're gonna put those retaining clips in. So with the retaining clips, you can see here that you've got this side like that, this rolled over, and then you have this other side. These go towards the inside. So this will go in there like this right here. And then they just press into place. So I always start with this side first, and then you hook it and then push it in. It's almost like putting a battery in, you know, spring side first. All right, so there we go. All right, so these springs, in order for you to get the springs in there, they have to go and spring on the back side. So I just bend these in just a little bit, and then I'll bend them back whenever I get them installed. And mainly what those springs do is they cut down on your vibrations and your squeaking. back into place. So now that I got the brake pads in place, I'm gonna take this here. I usually try to hang the top bolt first just because I can get to it. All right, I'm gonna inspect all my lines, snap, everything back in the place where it goes if anything came loose take my other bolt so when it comes to getting those tight Tighten them, tighten them up as, as tight as I can. So we got everything tightened down. Now, if you wanted to tighten these down with a uh, with a torque wrench, uh, you can tighten these down to about 150 foot pounds of torque. Um, these are pretty massive bolts. Uh, that's about what they felt like when I was when I was pulling them off. So that's totally up to you for whatever your your peace of mind is. Um, this here is just a little extra. I was touching this a little bit, got some greasy hands going, so I'm just gonna clean up these rotors and things just a little bit.
All right, so I got that all cleaned up, and then uh, I'm just going to go ahead and, and just sort of reverse.